I'm Artes, I'm an uh, analyst in uh, Team BDS in LEC and I work mainly for scouting and data provider. Before each uh, game day I uh, prepare scouting for next opponents and uh, work with uh, the staff online because I'm remote and I did scouting and help individually for players if they need it. For scouting, I, I mean uh, more for competitive, looking for patterns, how they play, for example, for Herald, uh, how they team fight, but also uh, we checked uh, solo queue uh, because uh, we need to know which champion they can play uh, in stage. Uh, for G2, I think I'm, I'm really excited because it's the, the most stable, solid team in the LEC right now. And I think a uh, match against them, I mean Series B of I, will be really excited and I hope we can win it. Hello, I am Mankyu. I'm from BDS as assistant coach. I would say if we want to beat the G2, for sure we have to have every kind of early, mid and if at, at least at a good level, kind of. But also what's the most important, just don't be fear to play the, the stage. But I think the most important part for me, what I figured out from the last two years, is have fun. This is the most important for the play. Because if you don't have fun and you lose, then you kind of boom. But if you have fun, then at least you can turn to each other. It's something like Mad Lions did last year. I think it was good. I just want you guys to remind you one thing, which is the last time we played against them in official, okay? Because for me, that's what matters, not scream official. We had a lead, and then we start. We started to be pussies, basically. I don't want to lose the same way. Like for real. Like this is the only thing that will make me not sleep at night is if you guys have a lead and you are scared. Push your lead. Just play like every other game, okay? Because if we did this, we would have won. So right now we are a team with almost one month more of experience and we are going to make sure that whatever we did against them last time does not happen again. Okay, we are a stronger version of ourselves. We are way better than what we've shown on week one. So please play with confidence and don't be scared again. One, two, three, five, nine. Nine set up on the target to keep half standing. Duke now going to be in trouble. Spear stacking. Back at Duke, but not quite enough to finish the job. Meanwhile, on the bottom side of the fight, Mickey now on the chase, flashing for the stun, forcing out the cleanse from Ice. But this should just be a quick turn back because Ice does not go down. BDS able to find the kill. Ice now looking to follow up. Be on the way in. Mickey throwing down an early aggressive ultimate. BDS just trying to retreat. Both away now coming in, but Wayne goes down. Safety dodges a lot of the initial CC, but now it's going to be in trouble. Nice shockwave from Nuke! Punishing Broken Blade. They're trying to fire back. Nuke with the shockwave. Not going to connect. Cavs trying to get another kill off to the side. And it looks like they're going to be able to return one back. Guys, it's the entire team. Let's see this damage coming in for the TS. He has to get it done. Excellent pushback from Caps. The Crypt Bloom coming through to provide a bit more healing. And in goes Broken Blade. BDS in game one. BDS a promising start, but could not match. G2 in the mid game. Adaptation will be the name of the game as we head into game two. But this one, first blood in the favor of G2. So I'm striker. I'm also called Yanis Kela. I'm the head coach for Team BDS in the LEC. Um, and I've been working as assistant coach last year, so it's my second year here. When we are backstage uh, watching the boys play, I think it's mostly frustrating if I, has, if I had one word to use. Um, in the sense that, well, you don't have any control over what's going on, right? And even though you might have repeated a few times some things that are important on, on the day, uh, that's not up to you anymore. It's up to the players. We have like less than 
15 minutes between games. Um, and when I say 15 minutes, I also count the um, like time that we need to to go on stage again. And that's basically cut between the moment they leave stage, um, they go outside. Here, when they go outside, we usually have individual feedback. Um, so I give assignment to either Roxy or Menkyu to discuss X and Y, depending on the notes that we have as a coaching staff with X and Y player. And after that, we come back. We do have a feedback moment for the team. So that's everything that is more macro related, decision making related on the TV. Then we try to make them reset and go into the next game. And once that's done, we have a few minutes to discuss the next draft. Um, and that's basically how it goes. Logan Blade will surely become mid. takes it. Does he just flash over the wall? Dash through him. Flash over. Flash out. He's running. But that's a red so buff. The red. Play where they've got a lead like this and they can bully into mid, it's gonna feel damn good. LeBron looking to fish. But immediate pullback from the all the Adam now coming in, has locked at the cliff to ice, trying to free fire a brief moment where the Brahma unbreakable is down, and they're gonna try to find a little bit more damage back. Ice not connecting the enemy to walk forward, taking absolutely zero damage. Swirl Z connecting onto one, sweep down onto ice, broken blade into the back line jam, trying to get a little bit more room. Ice taken out in the Yasuo, starting to take over. Good shutdown. Yike continuing to move in. G2 gets so much on the back of that. Adam's gonna go mega, but it's just too late. Hot Sama taking out Jail. G2 could just end right here. Body blocking. LeBron on the way in if he doesn't hook someone back into the fountain. I don't see how they're possibly gonna make this work. G2 focused on the objective, and the objective is to finish this series. 2-0, match point for G2. Walking, trying to make a little bit more space this time around. Hot does have ultimate immediately. The ball is there, severing bolt from the sky. Caps making it rain fire. G2 finding gold just about everywhere. Top side of the map, BB. BDS once again on the retreat. Rookwood stepping in, ulti back through, isolating LeBron off to the side, but has to be careful because Ice is in the area. Has he given his gold lead away? Unstoppable, he is. We'll find one, and now just gonna. time they've beaten them the best of and BDS just haven't been able to find it again today. Rob caught out another severing bolt taking so much life on something to grab the kill. Ice Ooh. now pulled back. Quick team fight for G2 making it look easy. QW, QW, QW caps on a rampage. Out a clean sweep for G2 Esports as they move on to the winter finals. I really believe that the scoreline does not highlight the actual gap between the two teams. I think even on game three where we get snowball gone, they do get a snowball, yes, but I think it's based on like small mistakes. We hold on the early game for the first three games, I mean for the, for the all games, and we have issues when it comes to being more thoughtful on how to play the map in mid-game. But we do know how to work on this. You guys are fast to pick up your issues in mid-game, and I want us do not think that is what the, basically, the ceiling that we have for this split. No, we can still get them in one week. We can get them in one week if, when we go back to practice, I don't have to shout every two games, because we don't put it density. Because when you guys put it density, you win the early game, three times in a row, against a team that has a lot of answers into our picks. Meaning, fundamentally, we are fair but we need to be able to work on the mid-game aspect on a deeper level, and for that, we need to be serious in school. We have our shot. We do. It's a 3 -0. yes, sucks, feel bad, but again, the gap is not that big. If we come next week, with the right attitude.
I just hope that there, there will be at least a few people rooting for us uh, on Saturday and Sunday because I know how important it is for the boys. Yeah, it just, it's just nice for them because they do work so hard every single day. They have one day off where usually they still play the game a week. They just have to basically... Uh, I mean, they, 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 I think they need this kind of moment with fans to understand also that this is part of the reward and that can keep them motivated, you know. Uh, in the long run, I think that's important for them to have these kind of interactions. Yeah, I guess you should, you should come. It's on Saturday, Sunday, right? So you probably don't even need to take a, a day of work. So yeah, just come. Just come and support us and we'll try to, to give it back to you with uh, hopefully a title.